in the last class we were discussing about the maps we started the chapter number five the mapping skills okay so now we are continuing our lesson from where we left in the last class now in the last class we were discussing about the point 5.3 in this we discussed two things now basis for planning and decision making so map is basically a base for a planning and a decision making how maps can be beneficial for planning and decision in planning the development of the city for example someone decides to make a new city to make a new area the planner use a base map to show where to build a factory where to build a road where to build a school and where to build a houses so in that road map they in that road map or the base map they basically decides where they will make which thing in an emergency a map of a building or an area will be useful in planning a rescue operation for example if there is a fire in the building for example if there is a fi fire in the building then there should be a passage there should be an emergency exit or an emergency passage to leave the building so the map of that passage or that route should be visible to everyone so that whenever there is such any incident like fire in the building so everyone should leave the building in very less time so these maps will help to exit or enter any difficult situations in the building like in the rescue operations so maps also helps in the basis for preparing or planning or making some decisions for the city area or the building okay so we are right now on the page number 47 right now we are on the page number 47 so the types of map topic 5.4 the types of map there are many types of map each showing different types of information so maps are of different types maps are of different types different each and every type of map show different type of information okay and serve different purposes for example the map which is made for the battle purpose contains the different things give the different information the map which show countries have a different information the map which show the fields which show the crops in different countries they have a different purpose so each and every map gives or serve different purposes okay so the political map political map the first type is a political map these are the most easiest and easily understandable map these maps show the individual countries these maps show each and every country like if you see this picture in your page 47 they show the china they show the vietnam and so many countries are there indonesia they are showing so many countries like thailand okay then each separated by a national boundary so it means that this map which map the political map shows the individual each and every country and also showing their international borders here they are saying it a national border for each and every country so the national boundary or the international border each and every country is separated by these okay because the border of one country would be the start of the another country so the capital cities and major cities are usually shown the capital cities or the major cities in the map normally shown for example if you see this map they are showing us a different major cities not all see in the china they are showing the different cities names okay in thailand they are also showing the name of the cities okay same in the indonesia okay in this way like there is also india in the map so they are just showing 
द नेम ऑफ सम कैपिटल सिटीज एंड द मेजर सिटीज ओके सो दीज आर द पोलिटिकल मैप्स द मैप्स विच शो यू जस्ट द कंट्रीज एंड मेजर सिटीज एंड दे ऑल्सो शो द बॉर्डर दीज मैप्स आर द पोलिटिकल मैप्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ अ पोलिटिकल मैप नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द पेज नंबर फोर्टी एट everybody should move to the page number 48 the second page of today's lesson the page number 48 is saying that the second type of the map is thematic it's a thematic maps the word thematic is taken from the word theme theme means design or an idea or a design or a pattern so the thematic maps thematic maps have some specific theme i have some specific map for example someone is going to arrange a birthday they say that the theme of the today's birthday is blue so that everybody would wear a blue dress so they make a theme of that thing according to the birthday is just a example for the theme theme means a design or the pattern so these maps just show the pattern for example they are saying thematic maps have specific themes they are giving the example that climatic maps the climatic map the maps based on the climate the climatic maps give information about the temperature about the rainfall and atmospheric pressure of a place or a country or a region or a world or a city so they design in such a way that it shows different difference of temperature difference of rainfall atmospheric pressure of some specific place or a region or the world figure 5.6 if you see this picture the picture given on the page number 48 this picture is showing the pattern pattern means a design as i told you earlier the pattern of the mean annual temperature range in simple words they are just showing that in which area the temperature the pattern of the temperature in the different area range means area okay or the difference between the highest and the lowest mean monthly temperature so figure 5.6 shows the pattern of the temperature range that how much temperature will be raised in some specific area and how much temperature would be the down in some specific area yes mohammed is okay yes you are right okay so so now in the world normally these maps are designed normally these maps are designed for different things but majorly they are designed for the weather for the climate so that they will find out that which region is cold which region is hot which region is very hot and which region is average different colors are used to show different temperature range okay different colors if you see in this picture they are showing you different colors so somewhere we have red and somewhere we have pink blue green yellow and orange what does that mean they are saying that the region which have a blue color it means their temperature is in between 20 to 30 degree centigrade these are the average temperature average temperature area in which there is no hotness there is no sun that much sun there is no cold okay it's a average temperature means the weather is good okay and the area which is pink they are showing it become 30 to 45 this is the area which have a hot area a sunny area and the area which is black normally those areas are the deserts and the area which is a black over 55 means it's a very hot area of the region or the world and they are saying that red 45 to 55 they also considered as a hot region so 20 to 30 is a good one 30 to 45 it's a hot one 45 to 55 it's more hotter than the pink one and 55 over 55 means more than the 55 degree centigrade then it would be the hottest one okay and then if we see 5 degree to 10 first see this one orange one below 5 degree centigrade means these are the regions that are 
cold region where here the winter season is much okay 5 degree to 10 degree it is also the cold region not that much but it's a cold one 10 to 20 it's less than average temperature and the weather is also good in that area in which the green region is there so these colors are defining the definitions of these colors what that mean for example if you see this box on the page number 48 if this box is not given then what do you understand by the pink color what do you understand by blue color nothing so this box is a definition of the color that what does orange color means here orange color means that in that area it's so much cold what does mean by the black color this box is telling that black color area is basically the area which is very much hot okay so they are showing it here so that's why this box this symbol box is defining the colors definition that what color means which thing or what color refers to which thing Mamanur, it's a Antarctica Antarctica is the region which is very much cold uh, the name of it's a continent but there are no real cities no real cities are there means people were not living there only researchers live there and there is no specific cities there okay now we are moving to the next page the next page is page number 49 on the page number 49 we have the third type the first type which we see the first type which we see is the political map the second type we see is the thematic map now we are seeing the uh, uh, the second type we see is the economic map sorry it's a thematic map the third type now we are seeing is the economic map the resource map resource map shows different types of natural resource resource means a thing which is useful a thing which is useful resource map shows the different types of natural resources or economic activities natural resources the things which we got from the soil and those things are expensive those things are expensive and normally used in the country or in the world okay so resource map shows the different types of natural things which are getting out from the soil or the economic activities the the activities which generating or generating generating a money or contributing in the country okay that are found in an area okay Resource map just show the different type of natural resources or the natural things or the economic activities that are found in the specific area that what is going on in that area. So symbols are used to show the resource or the economic activity. So there are symbols. Symbols are just the small picture. See there are some small pictures attached with some unknown names. I will tell you what these are. But if you see, first you see, there are some small pictures. There are some small pictures attached everywhere. Okay, so these small pictures are the symbols. Symbols are used to show the resource or the economic activity. For example, a green square represent copper cores. And a black tri triangle shows that it's a iron ore. Okay. So... Now, a green square show a look at the map, resource map of Poland in figure 5.7. If you see this map, this map is showing the map of Poland. Can you guess what each symbol on the map represent without looking at the map legends? Okay, if you see the symbols or these legends, some pictures are given. For example, if we didn't see at the end of the picture, can we guess it is some like machine? It is, we don't know what is this. It's look like a ship. It's look like a building. But we didn't know something like this one. Like this one. We know it's look like a car or some machine. But what is this? And what is this? So for this purpose, they put the legends at the end so that anyone can get to know that what we were discussing. 
Okay. So if we see at the end we have some agents available. So they are telling the definition of the things. What things? The small pictures. If you see if you see this sign we find this sign here okay and we find this sign here so it means that a ferrous or non-ferrous mining and metallurgy in simple words there are some mines and people are working there so this sign just show that in that specific area there are some mines this this sign only just show that in that area there are some mines okay and then the next one we have as i told you it's look like a car or a machine so it's a machinery it's a heavy machinery like metal goods and building material it means that this machinery is used for making the goods or a building material it means that some buildings are in construction some buildings are in construction mode with the help of these machineries then we have a chemical this bottle this shape is for chemical it means that they are showing that there is a chemical in that area some chemical process is going on okay mining is a process in which the people will take out a thing inside the soil okay if they found the specific if they found the specific natural resource under the earth they uh, they are going to dig it out and the process of digging out the natural resource from the depth of the earth it is a mining because uh, the natural resource which we are going to take out it's not like this that we can dig one meter or two meter it's in very depth they sometimes they put uh, the temporary train a small train to sit and go inside the mines the mines are very long and sometimes they are very much dangerous they are all of them are under the earth okay so in this way they are taking out the natural resources so we have a black dot the black dot is showing that it's a petroleum then we have a ship building it means that in that area the ship is in making in that area the ship is in progress it means that in that area people are or company is going to make a ship okay along with it what we have next thing next we have a textile and clothing the next symbol this one this symbol is showing that in that area the textiles are there and the cloth making factories are there cloth making industry is there okay now the th next one is the food processing food processing means there is some production unit to making a food stuff for making a food stuff stuff okay then the next one we have it's a light industry the next one we have the light industry in this for example the wood the, the things of the woods are there paper are is making glass and ceramic see these pictures are just for example here okay these pictures are just for example of the economic or the resource map they are just giving you example there are thousands of things you can add in any map they are just giving you the example that this is look like a resource map okay this is not the fixed one that only these things can be used thousands of things can be used in the resources okay right now you left this word ferrous or non ferrous we will discuss it later because it's not directly connected to the topic we are just discussing right now the map okay so now they are showing the minerals iron uh, hard coal brown coal iron ore all of these are the type of minerals so they are showing the area the orange area the orange area is there and then this purple area the light purple area this one it's iron ore the brown the hard coal hard coal it means that they are showing these regions contains these type of minerals hard coal brown coal or iron ore iron ore is there in the purple one and brown coal is in this brown one as you see there are some spots available and the 
hard coal is available in that dark region so this is the example of the economic or the resource map the first one we discussed is the first one we discussed is the political map which shows countries and major cities and also show the national boundary the second one we see it's a thematic map it's show the theme of different things majorly it is used for showing the temperature in the specific region city or the world the third thing we were seeing is the resource map or the economic map which shows that what activities are going on in a specific region or they are showing that in which part of the area we have a natural resource okay now we are moving to the page number next in the next page we have it's a page number 50 now the page number 50 we are going to see the fourth type of map the fourth type of map is the physical map as we know that many physical features are covered in the earth surface in the previous chapter we see this thing a physical map shows the physical features such as mountain plains and rivers okay so physical map show these things different colors are used to show land of different heights so height of the mountain is higher than the normal one okay so different colors showing different height green color or green is usually used to show low land okay while orange or brown it's used to show the land of higher elevation it means that higher elevation means the land which is high normally for the mountains or the area which have much higher than the normal plain area so orange and the brown color is used to show the height area which have a height so if you see in this map they are showing the brown and the orange color it means that there are mountains in that area okay and then we have a green green show the lowland if you focus there is a green in that specific area okay so what about the blue color waterways such as rivers streams and lakes are marked blue so we see three colors okay we see green and blue green is for lowland blue is for water and orange or brown is used for the area which have a height normally for the mountains so we see the physical map the first map which we see is a political map which shows cities uh, which shows countries along with the cities and also show the international or the national border or the boundary the second map which we see is the thematic map which shows the theme okay the third map which we see is a economical or resource map which shows where are the specific resources or where are the economic activities are going on the fourth map which we see is a physical map this map shows the physical feature of the earth as we know physical feature of the earth are mountain plains and rivers so whether the area on the earth is plain whether the area on the earth is on mountain whether the area on the earth is river so these are the physical features so physical map show the region of these physical feature so some colors are there green color is used to show the land which is low the orange or the brown color is used to show the land which is at height or have a higher elevation blue color is used for water so that it will show the rivers streams and lakes so this is the fourth type of a physical map let me clear the screen now we are at the road map the fifth type we are at the fifth type fifth type is saying that yes i am okay so road maps the fifth type is a road maps as it their name shows as their name shows it's a map of roads road map shows the roads highway railroad tracks and points of interest of a place 
these maps are used by people to find their way around a town city or a country a figure 5.9 shows the roads and train stations in manchester england the name of the major roads and train sections are included on the map if you see this map this map is looks similar like a google map okay maps of the specific area or the specific country are always available in each and every country and in each and every place you can even get it from the internet and print it but the point is those map contains the things which are important that doesn't include all the things that doesn't include all the things it doesn't include all the things okay so as they are giving the example of the england road that there is a road they show different things small alleys and including many things so let's see they at the end at the end of this picture they are showing three colors that's great hasan that's great okay so the three colors are the orange and white and then we have this symbol so orange color means the major road okay so if you see there are some orange color roads there and then we have a white road white means a road is there but it's not a major one it's not a wide one not a major one it's a road but it's not a major one there are so many white roads and if you see this symbol if you see this symbol so this is showing that it's a train station for example if you see here here it is a train station if you see here here is a train station so in this way they are showing the point of interest that where are the roads is going and where is the train station so this is a road map it is the most easiest one that road maps just show the roads that where they are going and it including roads they also show those things which can be beneficial to understand the place for example they show some restaurants they show some studios like they show the studio studio see the water street is there it's a water street and they show a name of the building so that anyone can get to understand that in front of this studio there is a water street okay and then they put the name of the building it's a museum so they are giving the names on the map so that anyone can easily understand that where they are heading okay so we see the political map we see the thematic map we see the economic or the resource map then we see the previous one physical map and now we see the road map now we are moving to the next one this one is a little bit different this map is a little bit different than the previous one the this map is a topographical map this map is a topographical map okay the topographical map shows the physical feature of a place okay the word topographical means that the accurate accurate representation of a physical things accurate representation actual or real presentation of a thing the topographical maps show the physical feature of a place unlike unlike in the physical map the physical features are shown in a great detail so topographical maps are the maps which show you each and everything each and everything in the great detail details such as the shape and the height of each feature are shown for example you are seeing a building they are showing you the height and the shape with the help of the lines they are showing you the lines where are the lines if you see there are some boxes there are some boxes these boxes they are ca calling it a uh, lines with the help of these lines with the help of these lines they are showing the uh, the image or the area in the great detail okay the pronunciation of that 
word it's a counter okay contour lines the each and every feature is shown with the help of contour lines contour lines join places of the same height they join the places of the same height a hill for example is seen as concentric circle okay so if you see in the picture if you see there are some lines boxes are there some lines are there and by adding these lines if you focus on these some small lines are also there so these lines are also helps in joining so how they are helps in joining see a hill for example is seen as concentric circle so if someone has a uh, this box so it's easy to match it with this one because in this way this map become like a puzzle for example if you have a picture and the picture is divided into many pieces and now you are joining the pieces so if you don't have the lines you can't join the map with the help of these lines see these circles are helping to join this piece with this one and this piece with this one so in this way they are helping to join the map human features such as building roads and farms are shown using the symbols so these they are also using the symbols to show these things which things buildings roads and farms building roads and farms okay that's great that's great tashrik that's a nice hobby okay tashrik share the very good thing that uh, tashrik is saying that uh, it's it's his hobby to make a map of uh, his neighborhood and the areas near his house it's a very good thing it's a nice hobby by the way that if you know how to make a map or how to draw a map it will first it will make or increase your thinking creativity the second thing is that it will also helps in your drawing the third thing your time will be utilized in a very good manner the fourth thing you will get to understand the spellings the fifth thing you will focused on your writing skills also so it's a very good skill if you want to draw or make a map of a thing okay that's great that's great that's great right now we are uh, teaching online if we were in the school and the normal teaching is going on then i will surely give you a task or we will do that task in the class that we will make a map of our school but right now we are taking the online class so it's not possible but surely whenever we Uh, go uh, go in the classes in the school so we will do this thing in the class so now we are stopping it here at the symbols we are stopping it here time of the period is ended right now the assignment is waiting for you in the class light and it's very easy so best of luck for uh, assignment and have a nice day to everyone